Hey guys, I hope you're doing awesome. Um, today I just want to speak about a really a topic that God's been putting on my heart for a while now, and it's um, uh, it's about uh, how God just saved me from my academics, or I don't really know how to title that, but how He absolutely changed my my life in terms of um, how I work and you know how I did at school and and how I did at university and and so on, and because God really had a big hand and all that because I allowed him to and today I just want to tell you that about like how what happened when I did that and what I did exactly and so on um so I'm just going to start off where you know I was in school and I was a a pretty average kind of student I didn't like do amazingly well like I wasn't one of the top students or whatever um and one of the big things were that I really freaked out in the and when the exam times came I really I remember when when I had math exams in high school you know when I went to sit and I went to like write this exam I just freaked out I was just like yes I'm gonna if I'm if I then I just think of yes if I fail this exam this and this is gonna happen and you know stuff like that just took over me and, and I just had this anxiety on me and thing and stuff and you know um, what then happened is I in this process, I was growing closer to God, and I was just, you know, seeking His face, and and and, I, and as I was doing that, I was figuring out more and more who I am as a person, and that I'm actually a son, and that I don't need to worry about this because He's got me, and then He's actually the one who's there going to write my paper for me. I just got to do my part, and then He's going to do the rest, you know. Um, and 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 stuff did get a bit better, and um, I got through school. Uh, I did, I did pretty good, you know, I did fine, but but I, I, I still carried that thing with me and, and when, I, when it came to what I was going to study, um, one of the big stuff is I was like, yes, what am I going to study? I have no idea and, and God just pushed this thing on my heart of, of, of studying information design, you know, it's a um, studying design and, and all these things at, at the university and stuff. And, um, but you know, I wasn't sure if it was from him and, and they, they only take 50 people a year and I didn't take art. I've never taken like something like art classes before or anything. You know, I'm. I guess I'm a creative kind of person, but I'm not like super like Picasso drawing and stuff. You know, I can't like paint. I've never even painted in my life or anything. You know, back then, um, and so, you know, I, I was just like God. Like I want to do this. And I feel like you wanted me to do this, but like there's no way I'm going to get in without you, you know, if, so this is a good thing because now I know that if I get in, this is God's will, if I don't, it's not His will, so I was just like, you know, Father, if you want me to come in and get in at this place, which only take 50, takes 50 people and the procedure is really, it's strict, you don't get in easily, um, then God, you're going to have to make it happen, you know, and I, and I just started taking art classes like in my last year of school, like the last six months before I went, and, uh, or a year before I went, and I, and I just started building up some, a, basic skills and stuff and I just sent in a portfolio and uh, you know I was up against people who've been who've been drawing since grade four you know people who've been who've been drawing since they were a little baby and I couldn't even draw a stick figure really back then you know I could barely do that um, and you know but I sent in what I could and um, what then happened is they they actually invited me for a interview um, and I went for the interview and stuff and then long story short they they accepted me you know and that was just like mind-blowing for me and crazy awesome and cool because you know I know that I'm super unqualified to be there I'm super the people I was in I remember the first day of class you know I, I got there and the the lectures like okay guys get in front of that mirror and draw yourself you know I'm like I've never even drawn a portrait of anyone or any, you know I was just like what did I just get myself into you know um, and all these people besides me, they were drawing these amazing things. And I was just like feeling like, yes, God, maybe, you know, these doubts, the enemy's coming with these doubts again. You know, maybe I'm not supposed to be here, you know, maybe. And in my first year of university, which is very intensive in terms of hand, the stuff that I'm not good at, um, I really suffered. You know, I really, I had I had days where I remember I like just, just called my parents. I was just like, you know, I can't do this anymore. I want to leave. I'm not going to make it, you know. Um, and and I was like every single project um, I was just like praying myself through you know I couldn't there was no way for me to get through a project without God you know I, I would literally fail a project if it wasn't for God you know um, and uh, you know I, I did really I didn't do amazingly well in my first year and um, you know, my, my in comparison to my classmates, I mean, they they were really ama they're really amazing and stuff. And you know, I, I kind of always had the back of my mind this thing: yes, is this really what God wants me to be, and, and all that stuff, you know. Um, cool. So then I remember the, the, one of the last projects of my first year. I was just at the brink of breaking down. I was at the brink of just being like God, like I'm just gonna leave now. I'm just gonna let this go. I'm I, I'm gonna do something else, you know. Um, 
and um, you know I remember I was I was working on this massive project and and the lecturer just quite came to me and just told me listen you're gonna have to start over and I was like already a week in and you know it was just like this heavy thing on me and and then I was just like I remember I was listening to this song and I, as I was freaking out and and uh, in the song the lyrics said you know um, the pressure makes us stronger, you know, and and then God just he just told me, yeah, he, he just made that pop out and, and just tell me, listen, this is needed because this is going to make you stronger for what I'm going to use you for. You see, and and what happened is I was just like, whoa, awesome. And that really encouraged me. Right. And after my first year, I, got, I went into my second year and everything changed like Everything changed from the first to the last project. Um, everything changed. I, you know, I, I rocketed into um, into like being one of the top people in my class, in my course, you know, and stuff. And 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 that's all, 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 all glory to 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 Jesus, because there's no way that I could have accomplished that. You know, I'm, I was really the least of the least in terms of that, and 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 God just exalted me. But now I want to tell you. Why? Because it wasn't just about praying for him, for him and, and asking him. That was a big thing. But there was an action, like there was an action that followed because you need to, you can step out of faith, but you need to have an action as well, right? So, except for me just going and working hard, there was a different action. And today I want to read to you the, this, this promise of God that I cling to, that absolutely i give so much credit to for for this so if i turn to isaiah 58 verse 13 i just want to read this to you this is a promise by god this is awesome this is a, a promise that i cling to and when i cling to this promise throughout the years i got exalted and 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 i want to read it to you this is what it says isaiah 58 verse 13 if you turn back your foot from the sabbath from doing your pleasure on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of the Lord honorable. If you honor it, not going your own ways or seeking your own pleasure or talking idly, then you shall take the light in the Lord and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken." And this is this part I, I left out in the beginning. This is what I did. I kept the Sabbath holy and set apart because I am because I'm as bright and I'm set apart. I kept the Sabbath and I set myself apart from the world um, throughout the years. And I was keeping it even more and more and more uh, when I hit university and stuff. And, and I was like in a place where all my friends were working hard or hard, hard on the weekends and on the Sabbath. And I was like taking, even when it hurt, even when I'm like, yes, I can't afford to take off now. Even then I, I, I sit, sit back and I was just like, well, let me just take this day off for my father let me just take this this let me just go on this 24 hour date with Jesus and 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 spend time with him because it is his holy day which he in Genesis 2 verse 3 you know he said this day I set apart as holy you know and and I honored that and this promise I want to tell you guys this promise of Isaiah where he says where God says that if you keep my day holy and keep yourself from going your own way then I will make you ride on the heights of the nations. Guys, that is, that, that has happened in my life. And, and I mean, just this year, um, I did a project and, you know, I, last year I, I won an, I won an, I was an Adobe Award finalist. This year I'm an Adobe Award finalist again, you know, and, and, and all that stuff is not because I'm good and special and whoa, awesome PD. No, that's all because Jesus has taken over my life and I honored his day, which he said that if I do, do that, he will exalt me among the nations and I spend time with him and I'll seek his face and, and even when stuff goes hard, and and wrong and if there's pressure man I just cling to him and I just know that hey he's there I don't have to worry about anything because he's gonna be the pain in my hand when I write that exam he's gonna be the the thing the the one thing that I that he's gonna be my secret weapon that 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 other people around me don't have and let me tell you guys that that atheists and people around me they don't like this they don't understand it because they saw me for my first year. They saw how least and how 
sucky I was at the stuff I did and and they saw my growth and that and that growth is supernatural it wasn't it's not something that a man can accomplish it's not something that anyone can accomplish alone and 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 I know that it's just God there's no other way you know so I just want to encourage you you know seek his face and and follow him and give this thing to him give your academics to him give your workplace work to him every day everything we do we need to do unto the Lord because it's so important and keep his Sabbath because I promise you guys this is it's not about having salvation it's about just being obedient to what father asked us to do and 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 he wants to bless us that's why he gave he didn't give it to us to burden us or anything man I can go on and on and on about the testimonies about keeping the Sabbath for me I can go on for 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 hours I promise you but the only way you're gonna find out if what I'm saying is true if you give it a shot and you're just like hey let me just try out what PD said you know and I promise you now I challenge you go and keep the Sabbath holy go and 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 do it and and you'll see that even in one week in two weeks it's not gonna be easy in the beginning but just do it and you're gonna see that it's just gonna start like blowing up and being like amazing in your life this amazing day you know today is Sabbath and and I was just like this whole week even this morning I was in my bed and I was like father yes I wish this day could just like just last forever I don't want this day to pass because I want to spend this so much time with you you know um, and and that's what it's like when when Monday when, when Sunday comes I'm like yes when is Sabbath again you know because I want to spend time with my father again you know and that's it's not a burden at all it's like this amazing amazing blessing that God gave us and so many people don't see it as that and it breaks my heart because I know that it's not father's heart to to burden us because but because he loves us and he wants us to 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 be blessed and this promise that I just read in Isaiah is, was part of that and and I want that promise for you to I want you to ride on the heights of the nations I want you to be exalted just as I know he exalted me and he wants to exalt you in that area too so guys it's it's crazy it is, it's not logical to take off and, and and be more productive but it works if, if you take off on the Sabbath God exalts you and it just works something I don't know how it happens but I always get work done I always get better marks than ever you know I this I just, my last project I got 85% for it's just crazy and um, and it's because I kept the Sabbath like I kept the Sabbath even when I can't afford to but it doesn't matter because he exalts me because he's the one that's, that's gonna determine whether I do good or bad right so cool guys have an amazing day. I hope this blesses you God bless you so much um, yeah I subscribe to this YouTube channel if, if you want to see more of this uh, have an amazing good day as a peer bright as a peer bright